This is a medium difficulty question. Again, combines two concepts, concepts from averages and a little bit of linear equations to finally come to the answer. Let's get started with the question. The average mark scored by students of a class of 20 students is 50. So number of students is 20. Their average marks is equal to 50. If the marks scored by the student who scored the highest marks and that by the one who scored the lowest marks are removed, the average drops by 1.5 marks. So we are removing marks of two students the one who scored the highest and the one who scored the lowest. Then we check out what happens to the average. The average comes down by 1.5 marks. We have one more information. If the difference between the highest and the lowest marks is 50, what is the mark scored by the student who scored the lowest mark in the class? Let's get started. How are we going to solve this? We're going to set it up in the standard framework. Standard framework has three columns, number, average and sum. Initially, there were 20 students in the class. The average mark scored by all 20 is equal to 50. So sum of their marks is equal to number into average. Number is 20, average is equal to 50. So sum of their marks is equal to 20 into 50, which is equal to 1000. Now we are removing marks of two students, the one who scored the highest and the one who scored the lowest. So we'll be left with 18 students. What happens to the average? Average drops by 1.5. Initial average is 50. If it drops by 1.5, the new average is going to be 48.5. What is the sum of the marks scored by all of these 18 students? Number of students is 18. Their average is equal to 48.5. The sum is equal to 18 into 48.5. This is equal to 873. So for all 20 students, the sum of marks is 1000. For 18 out of these 20, sum of marks is equal to 873. So the difference between these two should be the marks scored by the two students whose marks have been removed. So 1000 minus 873, 1000 minus 873, this is equal to 127. This is a mark scored by the two students whose marks have been removed. Which all marks did we remove? We removed the highest and we removed the lowest. So sum of these two marks, highest plus lowest, is equal to 127. We'll just plug in the last bit of information that we have. The difference between the highest and the lowest marks is equal to 50. So H minus L is equal to 50. We have two equations, two variables, the simple straightforward linear equations to solve. We need to find the value of the lowest mark. We need to find the value of L. So what we'll do is we'll subtract the second equation from the first one. H minus H gets cancelled. L minus of minus L is equal to 2L. 127 minus 50 is equal to 77. 2L is equal 77. L is equal to 77 by 2, which is equal to a 38.5. So lowest mark in this class is 38.5. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. Sum of the marks of all 20 is 20 into 50, which is 1000. The remaining 18, after removing the highest and the lowest mark, average drops to 48.5. Sum of their marks is equal to 873. So difference between these two, 127 is the marks, the two marks that we have removed. Which two marks did we remove? The highest and the lowest. So sum of highest and lowest is equal to 127. We're going to superimpose this information along with the information that the difference between their marks is equal to 50. Two equations, two variable. Let's subtract the second equation from the first one. So what we'll have is H getting cancelled with H. L minus of minus L. 2L equals 77 or L is equal to 38.5. Check out the related videos and remember to subscribe to the channel. What's more, let's make scoring Q51 GMAT a reality. Sign up for the most comprehensive and affordable online GMAT quant course at gmat.vizaco.com. It's again gmat.vizaco.com